As election season heats up, many prospective buyers and sellers wonder how the political landscape might impact the housing market. Friend of the show, Steve M Smith, is here to explain. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Ronnie. How are you? I'm better now, Steve. I know you've probably seen the cockroaches, <laughs> but we're better now. Those we're better. Those cockroaches were scary. <laughs> yeah, they were. How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing real well. Well, thanks for joining us this yeah. morning on Hometown Living. So, Steve, talk to us about, you know, how the election season is affecting the housing market. Yeah, we've had lots of clients, both buyers and sellers, expressing, you know, kind of some trepidation about the election. There's, It's natural to have that uncertainty when you're coming towards a big decision like that. And so today I just wanted to kind of provide some historical context because one of the best ways we can anticipate that is say, well, gosh, we've been through elections before. What happened to housing uh, when we went through those elections previously? And though elections certainly are one thing that can have an impact on the housing market, uh, historically it has a relatively low impact. Things that have a bigger impact are things like supply levels and interest rates. And no matter which candidate wins, uh, we've seen in the past that it's likely to have pretty little impact on what people's actual incomes are which is a much bigger driver of what they can afford and when they make a home buying decision. So whether either candidate wins, uh, we expect the housing market to be stable and strong. Yeah, and what are the concerns that you are hearing from like the people that are looking to buy a home? Yeah, yeah, the, the question is, yeah, are, 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 are housing supply levels gonna change? Are prices gonna go up? Is there a bubble? Are prices gonna mm -hmm. crash because they've been so high? And so uh, I just wanna let people know that no, uh, when we look back historically, um, again, whether either candidate wins, it's not likely to change people's income so much. But right now we have low supply, okay. which means there's not enough housing for people. And interest rates have dropped a couple percent from a year ago where they were up almost 8%. Now they're in the low sixes. What this means for people is that buyers can afford more home. And so there's more buyers entering the housing market, but be which is good for buyers to take advantage of low rates. But because of that, Sellers are, are taking advantage as well because with more buyers, there's more demand for their homes. Just this week, we sold two homes in multiple offers, which you might not expect you know, later in the year or coming up into election, but there's uh, uh, more buyers that are wanting to buy and take advantage of low rates and sellers are winning as a result. Yeah, and so you were talking about the past. So, you know, what have you learned from the past election, like when it comes to the, the housing market? Yeah, so just to give you a couple historical facts, um, in nine out of the last 11 elections, uh, the number of housing sales rose in the year following the election. Uh, historically, we see a very small dip in home sales just that one month, which we're in preceding the election. <laughs> um, but again, even more uh, historically notable is that in the year following election, prices have also risen, risen every year for the last 40 years after election, except in 2008, where we had the Great Recession oh. kicking off. But, but almost always, home sales go up, and prices go up. So if you want to take advantage now as a buyer, you've got a chance to take advantage of low interest rates and before prices go up, which we expect them to like they historically have. Yeah. Now, Steve, are you working on any big projects right now? I mean, we're talking about, you know, things when it comes to election, but any big projects are you, you're working on yeah, right now, yeah, Steve? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> our, our newest project is one called the Residences on Notre Dame Avenue. It's actually a, a, a remodel, a condo conversion from some uh, former student housing units that are being beautifully refurbished. And so, yeah, we've always got some new projects coming up and new things up our sleeves. Yeah. Yep. Now, Steve, is there anything that you would like to leave our viewers with about everything that you just said or just in general? Yeah, I just want to let people know that you don't need to be afraid about the election and its impact on your housing value. And if you've been sitting back on the sidelines waiting for that election to occur, I would say you're going to want to get back in the game pretty quickly because, again, we are expecting long term that interest rates may continue to drop a little bit, but they've already dropped a lot. And as buyers enter the market, prices are going to rise and so it's a good time to to buy and it's an even better time to sell yeah well thank you so much for joining us Stephen, for giving us all of that information you bet ronnie thank you <laughs> thank you for more information on iris realty check out your screen you can visit their website or you can give them a call at 574-360-2569